During his rebuttal on the debate on the special prosecutor legislation on August 9th, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre divulged the financial details of a $70 million scheme by the previous United Workers Party administration to fund the overdue opening of the St. Jude Hospital. The client agrees to enter into a payment plan and therefore agreed to settle the financial obligations of the company over a period of one year. A payment plan over a period of one year from the date the works are completed, Mr. Speaker. And listen to it. Architectural works. What's the meaning of that? 22 million. 883,687.58 architectural works, ground floor works, 44,143,951.21 subtotal works, 56,977,639 VAT, 7.1,102,204 total, 64,099,843 Finance costs, interest, Mr. Speaker, and the member for sure is a banker, a short-term financing agreement. The interest cost is six million six hundred and fifty-three thousand eight hundred and eleven dollars. The grand total seventy million seven hundred and seventy-three thousand eight hundred and sixty-four dollars for the ground floor of a hospital. Honorable Pierre revealed the former Prime Minister committed to repay the $70 million expense within 12 months. The arrangement was drawn up days before the July 26 general elections and only needed a signature to proceed. The payment will be carried over the period of one year in the following manner. Within three months of signing this agreement, the client will pay EC $26 million in Eastern Caribbean currency, the source being a loan from the Republic of China in Taiwan, identified as loan agreement 6021847. Now let me tell you something. <coughs> let me tell you something, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> you see that same loan agreement? It was a map to do something else. The second quarter payment will be carried out by the client paying to the company EC $10,752,000, the source being the government of St. Lucia. So you go, for some way, you're going to get $10 million in serious cash flow problems. When you run in a deficit in your current account of over 7%, you'll find $10 million to pay, one, to pay the, 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 the phone. <coughs> yes. The third payment will be carried out by the client, paying the company EC $18,710,000, the source being the government of St. Lucia. The fourth quarter payment will be carried out by the client, paying to the company EC $14,478,994, the source being from the government of St. Lucia. In the case of late payment of any invoice, Submitted by the company, the client will pay interest of 1% per day. What? Yes. <coughs> because the client knows it's going to be late. 1% per day to the company on the amount overdue. 1% per day. Now, Robert Lewis was a mathematician. What's 1% of $69 million? What's it? $69,000 a day. A day. A day. A day. A day. That's the interest you're going to pay. The Prime Minister has credited the decision by a senior public official for taking the controversial arrangement to the Attorney General's office for review, where it stalled, saving the government and taxpayers from another costly debt burden. Last September, the Prime Minister appointed a five-member committee led by renowned architect Mark Heineckert to advise the Cabinet on the feasibility and requirements for an immediate move and transfer of operations from the George Odlum Stadium to the original St. Jude Hospital site, previously abandoned by the former administration. From the office of the Prime Minister, Brihani Isidore.